Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to test your aquarium water if you have a freshwater fish tank. So I'm using the API Master Test Kit and it comes with an ammonia test, nitrite, nitrate, pH, and then high range pH test. And I find it really helpful to use a syringe to fill the tubes with because otherwise you have to take um, each test tube and dip it in the tank and try to hit that five milliliter mark and that's just kind of tough to do you have to like pour it out and try again over and over so this makes it a lot easier and also it avoids cross-contamination because if you have multiple tanks and you're dipping these in each tank you're obviously cross-contaminating every tank so if you have one syringe for each tank you avoid that so normally what I do is take the syringe over to the tank, drop the water, and then fill up the test tubes. But for the purposes of this video, I just have a little jar of water from my tank sitting here, so uh, filming this is easier. And I always start with the ammonia test. So what you'll do is get some water in your test tube, and you want to fill it up to this 5 milliliter mark. If you look closely at the test tube, you can see the surface of the water forms kind of a dip down in the middle, and this is called the meniscus. It's just because the water clings to the surface of the glass where it's touching the glass. So you want to make sure that the bottom of this meniscus is touching the 5 milliliter mark and not the top. So the ammonia test has two bottles. You use bottle one first and then bottle two, and you add eight drops of each one. And it's really important when you're adding the drops that you hold every bottle straight up and down like this rather than tilting it. So that makes sure that, the, that each drops are the same size. So then you cap it and I usually take a paper towel and put it over the cap because sometimes when you're shaking it they leak. And then just press it down and shake it for 5 seconds. And then once you're done with that you can just set that aside. It has to set out for 5 minutes before you can match it up with the color card to read it. So then I do the nitrite test. You start the same way, just add water to the 5 milliliter mark. And this one's pretty easy, you just add 5 drops and it only has one solution bottle. And then again you shake it for 5 seconds. So next is the nitrate test. This one is a little bit more involved than the other ones. It also has two test solution bottles and you add the first one first and the second one second and you add 10 drops of each. But then before you add the from the second bottle you have to shake it for 30 seconds. And you should also cap this and just invert it a few times, shake it up a little to make sure that the drops from the first bottle are mixed evenly. You don't need to do that with the ammonia test, but you do need to do it with the nitrate test for some reason. Alright, and then cap that, and this one you have to shake for, for one full minute. So when you're done shaking that, set that one aside as well with the others. And now just the pH is left. The pH ones are really easy and it comes with a regular pH test which tests from 6.0 to 7.6 and a high range which tests from 7.4 to 8.8. .8. So if you've never tested your water before and you don't know what the pH is going to be, you should use the regular one first. Alright, so you just add three drops of the solution. And you don't need to shake these, you just invert them a few times to get it mixed evenly. 
and the pH ones can actually be read right away. You don't have to wait five minutes. So my pH of my water is always really high. As you can see, it's reading at 7.6 right now, which is the highest this test will go. So if you get this reading, that's an indication that you should definitely check with the high range pH as well, just in case it's actually above 7.6. So now I'm going to test with the high range pH test. This one is easy as well. You just add five drops and invert the bottle a few times to get it mixed evenly. And my pH is reading at 8.4. Alright, so now it has been five minutes and we can read the results from these. The ammonia is at zero, which is good. Nitrite is also at zero. You always want ammonia and nitrite to be zero in a cycled aquarium. They always should be. And nitrate is five, which is pretty good. For goldfish, I usually never let the nitrate get any higher than 20, um, but typically it only gets to 10 before I do a water change. That's just my preference for my fish because excess nitrates can cause some swim bladder issues potentially and other issues as well so keeping them as low as possible is generally a good rule. 